and I answer questions. Okay, is there somebody here who can answer questions? I don't answer questions. Okay, I don't really know how to respond to that, sir. Got anything you want to say about that? I don't answer questions. Would you mind telling us why? I don't answer questions. Okay. in here last year is about the same same setup and everything. Yeah. This is the Sheriff's Department information. Hello ma'am, how are you? Good, good. I was just wondering if uh anybody was uh investigating uh, uh Wade Hollis at the uh Hamilton PD. I just gotten a uh a report that he was let go from his last department for, uh, I believe, uh, obscene materials on his computer of a 17-year-old and under. And I went and I talked to the chief, and he said that there were no criminal charges against him, but I don't know if the citizens of Hamilton know his background. I think that would be pretty important, you know, having a law enforcement officer that had those kind of allegations against him. I don't know, but are you reporting? Yes, ma'am. I'm a journalist. I'm. Well, I don't care. We're dispatchers. We can't have anybody in here recording. Uh, I would put up like so a you, blind you or can something. Turn it off. Turn it off. Or, or you can put up a blind. With, with these screens on. Yes, you, you have to have it off. Okay. Well, you guys Rest should put up. Off. You guys should put like a blind up or something like that. Because well, you should tell somebody when you're recording them because this is private stuff in here. Oh, okay. Well, this we is, we don't have to tell stuff. people, but and if you're recording, you need to turn yours off too. It's on me. <laughs> Is his own? No. Tell me to turn around, let me see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. Well, turn, turn it over here, because like I said, in there, we have... Anything um, that you can see from plain view from where a citizen's standing, right? Because citizens come up here? That right there is for our inmates, and that's the reason why there's females in there. So you cannot video in there. Okay. They are, they have... It's confidential information? Well... Because I know inmates aren't confidential. I can go get the arrest reports and, and find out who the prisoners are here and all that. That's public information. No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh. In their sales, the female sales, they have cameras. Those cameras are up there. You have oh. not the right to see that. Okay, yeah, that yeah. That part you do not. Right, I agree with you totally. Well, that's... that's, that's with, their, with their cameras... There's screens in there that's the shows female slaves. Okay, so you can't even look at those. I I don't. Well, I'm saying a citizen standing no, right here. No, you're not supposed to. So, but why you got it where they can see it then? I mean, that doesn't make no damn sense. Can't you guys put it on the top over here where they can't see it at all? We do the best we can. Well, I understand that, but uh, like, but see, what, what what can I do? Look look at this screen right here. I can't see any what, what of that can screen. I do? Oh, I was just coming by to see if anybody had, had uh, looked into the allegations on, on, on Wade Hollis, the Hamilton PD officer. Oh. Uh, he, he was let go from Fayette. See, see that's what they that, do. That there's not been no allegations made with our department. With, no, so there hasn't been any allegations made with the department. Not that I know of. Okay, is anybody just keeping an eye on the guy? I mean, he, it, was, he, it, was, he was let go from his last department under allegations of improper pornography on his home computer. He, he doesn't work for us, and there's been no allegations made with our department. Do you guys know about it at all, or? I, I'm a, what I can tell you is there's not been Do, no allegations made okay, with so our you department. Don't know. Okay. He don't work for our department. Well, um, right, but you cover the so, county, and he works in the county, and, and I don't know if you're a father, but I'm a father, and I would be concerned that a police officer had gotten let go next county over for pornography for under 17 
and then hired over here. That that would concern me as a father. If if there's been allegations and you're saying it was in Fayette, yeah, and that's up to Fayette to follow along on that and to well, they did. They let him go, and now he's over here. Now because of the thin blue line, they didn't prosecute him over there. They just fired him. Like I said, I don't, I don't. That that happened in Fayette. I don't know anything about that. I don't, I don't work All in right. Fayette. All right. Well, now you know about it, so you guys can maybe help steer the children away from them, you Hopefully. know? Hopefully. You know, or just if you see anything or, you know, they'll see something, say something, program, you know? Because it, it, I've had, you know, citizens here contact me about it. That's how I found out about it. They sent me the letter from Fayette. Fayette? Fayetteville? Yeah. Fayette? Yeah. Okay, they sent me the letter from Fayette where they... Um, dismissed them where they fired them and it said you know Alabama statute such and such obscene material on the computer 17 years and old and younger obscene acts so that that, that, that should be concerning I think for the people of Hamilton County uh, to have an officer that has those kind of allegations or, or, or was Mary, fired let go Marion County. oh Hamilton, Hamilton downtown, yeah. no, Marion, County. Marion County right right so um, I don't know if it's something to look into. I would into. be concerned. I, 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 would, I would be concerned as well. Especially we don't live here, but, but the citizens are concerned and are letting us know, hey, this guy got in trouble over there. Now they've hired him over here, you know? So we just want to make sure that same I, kind of... I don't know what went on over there. Right, right, right. I do know he's been employed with the city of Hamilton. For a long time. This was in 2003 when he was let go in Fayette. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, it's just something I thought we'd bring the, to the people's attention here. Also, the sheriff, last time I was in town, I don't know if you, you heard I was in town a couple, I don't know, almost a year ago. I came through here, and, uh, and someone had told me, one of the, uh, one of the uh, guys that was in jail here told me that the sheriff had wanted to lock me up even if I didn't break any law. So I just wanted to come by and see if... Before I got a hotel room, if that was true, you know that <laughs> you guys keep me in the gray bar. But uh, but if that's not true, then 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 we'll be out of here. But um, yeah, that's that's all we are. We're just making sure that the public's aware of uh, you know predators in their community, uh, regardless of who they work for, be it the teachers or police or firemen or or whoever. So we just wanted to to make people aware of that. It's obvious you guys aren't aware of it and. The chief of police over there, he doesn't seem to care, which I, I don't understand that at all. He said he was hired before he was made chief. But, yes. But, I mean, you're the chief of police. You can call Fayette and be like, hey, why'd you let this guy go? Oh, that's why you let him go. Okay, I don't need that guy working for me. You know what I mean? That, that That's what my police chief will exactly. do or else I'd get a new police chief. I'd vote him out. You know, so. But if you was a sheriff, chief, or whatever, would you not be concerned with... Yeah, your employees. Determination of him on the allegations, and now he's employed for you. Well, he don't work for us, so no, I can't I'm, say. We're right. No, I, yeah, I hypothetical. Can't say, I can't hypothetical, and I can't speculate. What um, if there were no hypothetical situations? Then we wouldn't be standing here having this conversation right now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Somebody got me on that one time. They were like, "What if there were no hypothetical situations?" I was like, "Huh." <laughs> but good call. You answered it. All right. Well, we're going to get out of here. we uh, seen everything, I guess, that's in the public lobby. That's closed. That's probably part of the jail, right? Yes. Okay. All right. But, yeah, just let them know. Um, if a citizen can stand here and see what's on the screen, they're already in trouble. You know what I mean? That's the same thing as the plain view doctrine. As I'm sure you well know. Anywhere an officer is allowed to be standing and can see... Anything within his sight can be used as evidence, right? Same thing goes for a citizen. Anything where I'm allowed to be standing at and I can see, I can record. Supreme Court. So just make sure they know that. Maybe get some, you can get some tent or something for the window here so no one can see in there and, that, and they can see that out. That is a Supreme Court ruling. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and it's like she was talking about, well, I'm a dispatch, I'm this, and I'm that. It doesn't matter. You work for the public, you know. Um, oh, here's all the numbers. <laughs> You can't see the phone numbers? No, you can't. Phone yeah, numbers? Well, that wasn't, that's not intended for you. That door is usually open. So, yeah, no, that's not intended for you. Oh, okay. Phone numbers are confidential now. Wow. Phone numbers are county workers. Okay. 
I mean, I guess I couldn't get them off their business cards, but that's fine. Well, the one thing is, not all of these have business cards. Oh, okay. But they're all county employees, I'm guessing. And some of them are their personal home. Okay, which you can probably get off the white pages online. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's all right. I understand. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, see, they've got the they've got the tent on the window right there. Right, you can't see in. Yeah, you can't see in. Yeah, they do that right there. <laughs> they probably have some tent left over. That's a bad tent job, though. That wasn't professionally done. All right. Deputy Doofus. <laughs> I thought he was going to break his arm trying to get his hand in there to pull that piece of paper away. I know. <laughs> I was like, well, dude, what are you doing? It's all public information. I mean, like you said, <coughs> you know, the white pages or business cards or. So we had some uh, employees back here earlier. They were goofing off. Now they're gone. So I think that's the school board back there. Fishing. He also has an AR-15 and a Glock. 